Today we're going to check out how to make this really cool halftone effect in Photoshop inspired from the zero. I'm going to go with this image as a reference. In case you have low contrast on your image, you can go to the adjustments and select curves and increase the contrast of your image in order for the halftone to adapt even better. I think this is pretty good. Press and hold shift, select both layers, right click, convert a smart object. Before applying any filters, make sure that you're on black and white here at the left. So I'm going to click on this little black and white rectangles and let's go to the filter, filter gallery. And let's go to the sketches. First, we're going to go with the reticulation. We're going to increase the background level, decrease the density all the way to zero and decrease also the foreground level on low. Now let's go down here to the plus, click on it. Let's go to the texture, select the grain. Intensity should be somewhere on 20, contrast somewhere on 35. And let's go down again, click on the plus. And now we can go and select the halftone pattern, increase the contrast all the way to maximum and increase the size of the half tone, something like this. And not but least, we're going to go click on the plus again. Let's go to the artistic and select the film grain. Let's increase the grain somewhere around half. Highlight the area, push it even more and decrease the intensity. Increase the grain, something like this. Click OK. Now, in case you don't have the results you like, you can always double click here on this thumbnail on the layer. And this is going to open up the original image. And you can see we got two tabs here, one with the original image and the other one with the effects. So what I'm going to do is drag the tab with the original image like this. And I'm going to go and drag it here until I'm going to see this blue bar here. Release it. And as you can see, it is going to show up both of the images. So I'm going to go here to the original one and modify the curves a little bit better. And we're going to go to the file, save, and it is going to update here. And this way you can check out live the adjustments. And this was it. Thanks for watching.